I hope so. That'd be awesome. Um, yeah, it's been amazing. I think, uh, well, first of all, getting out of that Melbourne winter was beautiful. So I can't remember the last time in August that I was able to get outside and get a bit of sun. So that's been amazing. Um, really exciting for me. Um, obviously, you know, fairly experienced in the NBL, but um, that's Rob. Yeah, I'm going to have to take care of him all year. So it's just starting. Um, but no, really excited. Um, I think the style of play is really, really good. Um, high pace, which helps me, um, especially in transition. Um, but also just the guys we have. I think the ability to sort of work with some of the younger guys as well and um, you know give them some insights where I can. They're, they're amazing players in their own right. So if I can be a small part of their journey, um, that'd be amazing. I guess based on what you've seen so far, do you think there's potential in the squad that they've got this season? Definitely. Yeah, I think we've got great length. Um, we've got really high IQ guys, but I think we gel really well. I think the chemistry, the one thing I've seen, you know, over the years playing is how can you gel as a group? You know, it's great to put a team on paper, but um, every night when you roll out, do you really have each other's backs? Do you want the best for the guy next to you? Um, and the things I've seen so far, it's it's definitely replicating that. What's training been like? I don't know how long it's been up here, but yep. what's training been like since then? Yeah, it's been good. Um, it's been great. High intensity. Um, everyone's competing. Um, obviously, still got a, guys, a few guys to filter into the group. Um, but no, it's been really great. High intensity, fun, but yeah, going hard, which I think is a really important this early as well um, to really build that, you know, uh, camaraderie, chemistry, all those things that we, we want to build. Just coming in as kind of a veteran with a lot of young guys in the group, what's 40 spoke to you about, about that, how you see it's your role and, and bringing that experience? Just keep looking at Matty for you. <laughs> yep. Um, oh, it's, I mean, it's going to be big. I think that, you know, we all know in seasons there's lots of ebbs and flows, um, lots of up and down, different emotions. Um, it's a bit of a roller coaster every year in sport. And I think, um, you know, to have someone who's done it a little bit, hopefully I can help the group with that, you know, sort of never too high, never too low, I think is a really important thing, um, you know, to get through a long season, get through a grindy season, a lot of travel, um, a lot of tough double headers, different things in the schedule. So really trying to sort of get the guys through, that's going to be important. Um, and then also on the court, just being able to settle the ship sometime and put the ball under my arm and organise and, and make, make guys sort of feel that sense of calm on the court to go out and be themselves. You know, we've got great talent in this group. So I think if I'm able to steady the ship at times and, and let them go be them, I think it'd be a really great balance. Yeah, I, it was one probably flagged early on too that I knew we wanted to bring in uh, someone with a bit of leadership behind them, but the right type of leadership, you know, there's, there's uh, you know, sometimes people can just assume someone who's played, you know, a long time, that when they get to a certain age, they bring leadership qualities to a team, but that's not always the case. You know, you really need like that selfless individual. Uh, the cool thing with Kyle in his case is he's virtually played every position you can in the NBL from, uh, you know, DP, uh, all the way to team captain. Uh, he's represented Australia in the FIBA qualifiers. Uh, he's played locally, he's played NBL 1, and he's played internationally. So I think he has a, uh, a huge resource of uh, experience that he can actually uh, reflect onto some of the younger fellas um, that, you know, a few life lessons, um, which, you know, is invaluable. So. That's what he brings off the court, and then on the court he brings a little bit of security in that point guard role, knowing that we do have a young backcourt, um, and if we do find ourselves in a bit of a tricky situation where we need a level head, uh, Kyle's definitely going to bring it. Have you seen that already so far since he's been here, bringing that off-field and on-field presence to, to the guys? Yeah, I, I paired him up with AK, and because even in Kyle's admission he's never really had a lob threat like AK on the team before, and so we paired him up early. and. Uh, you know, I just sort of caught him off to the side uh, during a drink break, uh, this was the other day, and he's sort of teaching him like where he's going to find it, where they're going to look for it, and, and then AK's also giving him some information back. And, and that's the other cool thing about Kyle is, you know, he, he's not going to be uh, above it to accept criticism and feedback and, and, and want to improve his own game, because he does want to improve his own game. He wants to get better, he wants to show what he's capable of. Um, and um, so having that real give and take, whether it's a 21-year-old centre, or uh, he's, he's coach or, or someone else on the team. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Is that the sort of role that you see him fitting as being on coach? Um, I don't want to, again, again, it's important, I don't want to burden him with any extra uh, pressure in terms of saying, hey, help me coach this team and lead this team. Because for him and himself as well, like last year, he was an injury replacement player. Um, so there's an element where he's working his way back into showing that he is a fully contracted NBL player and he's, and he's more deserving of that, so, or all deserving of that. So um, I want it to happen just naturally and organically. If he feels comfortable during a travel at the airport and he's sitting in the Qantas lounge and he's starting to open up to Taron or, or, or KG about it, 
by all means, like I want that to just flow naturally. But I'm not going to get him to stand in front of the group and, and, and talk about his you know life stories and, and, and make it feel like it's forced upon everybody, including him. What's the next couple of weeks look like with the other guys flying in, Jackson and the American Woods? Yeah, so this time next week is when we'll pretty much have everyone flying in. Um, it's been great, you know, we, we're week two into our pre-season. Uh, the plan is once those guys arrive, we're really going to try and fast track them uh, into our week four part of pre-season. Um, that's where these guys have been good with the execution side of things. And the plan is, is once we integrate that team, uh, those guys into the team, it's not me coaching them, but it's their teammates around them, sort of getting them up to speed. So, yeah, I've been regular communications with all of them. They're excited to get here. Um, everything's all set, ready for their arrival, and um, should have a good prep. You like what you're seeing so far on court, though? Yeah, no, it's again, you definitely don't want to get ahead of yourself, and uh, um, but there's the real business like mentality with this group. Uh, you know, Taryn, uh, Sam, and Jonah really drive that. Um, there's a bit of a breakfast club going on where we start our day at 8.20, but you know, you got guys filtering through at quarter to seven and, and they're working out, and then we eat and they stay in afterwards to, to shoot. So. Um, you know, there's a real workman-like mindset, knowing it's a process and, and, and knowing that, uh, you know, you can't take possessions off in this game, especially how competitive the NBL is. Um, no, it's early days, but I'm really liking our mindset and then we're just trying to build on that foundation. Obviously with Wardenberg and AK being based here, is there any reason why they weren't training today? Uh, AK's sick and Wardenberg's getting his wisdom teeth taken out. So uh, hopefully Wardenberg will still be wise after that surgery. But uh, yeah, that's just, a, just nothing, nothing too major.